Greetings Fright fans, happy Halloween and welcome into day five of our Halloween countdown here in the lab, our creepy crawly countdown of films of things that creep and crawl. It's been a pretty fun one. Yesterday we looked at Squirm, that's right, the worm movie from 1976, which is a pretty fun one in my opinion. I'm gonna try to shake these up really good here. Make sure it's not clumped up and see what tonight's entry is going to be. All right, for day five, we're going to look at, this is a film that uh, I watched for the first time uh, probably about 15 years ago or so. A friend of mine gave me a copy of it because she happens to be an extra in this movie. Or not even extra, just a very, yeah, kind of guess you call it the extra role. Small part in it, and that is the film Bug Buster. A medfly infestation forces the government to use to a chemical pesticide called theothion no to eliminate the pests the against the warning Not of experts. To be potentially dangerous. Later, at a lakeside resort, a pair of lovers are attacked by a fish that bites chunks out of them. The fish is killed and a strange bug is found inside of it. Later, at the same resort, a musician is killed when a similar bug crawls up his saxophone and into his mouth. An entomologist examines the roach-like insect from the fish and finds its DNA is unlike anything he's encountered before. The fish is also pregnant and full of eggs, which hatch into bugs and worms. It turns out the fish was a surrogate and carrying bug eggs. The bugs and worms crawl into the lake shore and the town is soon under attack by hordes of carnivorous bugs. There's only one solution. Call Hi, in General George, General Pest George Eliminator, here. played by Pest Randy Quaid. Eliminator. Insects are, of course, a byproduct of uh, the pesticide oh used at the beginning of the film, and General George soon goes to war against them. This 1998 horror comedy was written and directed by Lorenzo Dumani. This one features an insane cast that includes Randy Quaid, George Takai, James Doohan, Julie Brown, Doc from Love Boat, and Johnny Legend. All right, so yeah, Bug Buster from 1998. Uh, my friend that I mentioned before is Melba Toast. She is the singer in the bar that's up on stage with Johnny Legend. Singing when they're, when they're uh, in the bar there. So uh, yeah, she told me first about this when I had her on as a guest on my show. Uh, Melba lives here in Nashville, Tennessee, and she loaned me her VHS copy, and I still have it. So, <laughs> Melba, if you see this, I need to get that VHS back to you. I have it. I've taken good care of it. I promise I'll get it back to you. Um, of course, the film's on DVD now, so I'm sure you've upgraded by now, but I will get your VHS back to you, I promise. <laughs> but uh, the fact that I had it made it easy for me to pull it out and watch it for this year's countdown. So I guess it was good that I kept it, and I kept it for a reason without knowing. So anyway, yeah, Bug Buster, 1998, pretty fun. Ran old crazy old Randy Quaid in there doing his thing. Hor uh, horror comedy on this one, so yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and say this is actually probably a two skull movie as far as the quality goes, but I'm gonna give it three because Melba's in it, so and Johnny Legend, which is pretty cool. So, Three Skulls, Bug Buster. Have you seen this one? Check it out if you like some horror comedy stuff, if you like Randy Quaid doing his crazy antics, you'll probably like this one. All right, so that's it. Bug Buster's nice entry in our Creepy Crawly Countdown. Join us tomorrow night. We'll keep this thing rolling. Until then, as always, stay mad.